Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. So guys, in this video, we are going to prepare for the upcoming Gen C technical assessment. Okay. So as we know in that, uh, if you take any cluster, cluster 1, cluster 2 or cluster 3, query uh, and database and MySQL part is very important. So this video is going to be one study video, okay, in which we are going to study all the topics related to this uh, syllabus. Okay. And I have take, I have created the video in such a way that I have taken all the topics from this specific syllabus that is given to us okay why so because going forward we are going to solve mcqs and uh, query based questions which were asked in previous years of uh, gen c examination so then it will be very helpful if you already have a quick revision of the concepts uh, that are being asked okay so make sure that you watch the video till complete end i can assure you you will get to know something new only okay it won't be like wastage of time okay so make sure to watch the video till complete end and if you have any doubts as always please ask me in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet make sure to do so also there is a complete playlist if you are not aware on my channel related to gen z preparation so make sure to check that too okay now without wasting any time let's start with today's topic so guys before we dig deep into the topic let us first understand the syllabus okay and how much weightage does this part have okay so see first of all if you take cluster 1 or cluster 2 or your cluster 3 okay this part is going to be common okay so you have to consider that this is mandatory does not matter you are from which cluster if you are going to attempt your gen c technical assessment then this is the must part that you should study okay so see query database ans sky sql using mysql this is exactly common in all the three clusters and if you even read the syllabus that is ddl dml dcl tcl understanding constraints and their types sql operators sql functions clauses in sql joins and their types sub queries views and indexes this is this syllabus is also exactly same for all the three clusters so you can say this video is going to be helpful for everyone who is going to attempt the technical assessment of gen c okay see now we have read the uh, syllabus so now this from going forward what we will do is we will take one by one topic of the syllabus okay i have created this video in such a way that i am covering one by one topic of the syllabus and we will be studying about it okay and this video is just studying okay or you can say a cheat sheet which you where you will find all the topics related content in just one single video and from next video we are going to start prep, uh, preparing the mcqs okay so i will be taking all the previous year mcqs based on sql which have been asked in the previous gen c assessments and we will start practicing one by one so this way you will have the best practice of the of this part okay so let's start see our topic is database ansi sql using mysql okay first of all introduction to databases and sql See, what is a database database is nothing but a collection of structured data that allows storage retrieval and management of data efficiently okay next is what is mysql mysql is a open popular open source relational database management system that is rdbm rdbms okay we also call it as rdbms next is sql sql is what sql is a structured query language a standard language for interacting with relational databases okay guys now before moving forward to the next section uh, you might think that okay we are doing a very high level study or these are very basic things right so guys i just want to let you know that see all of you must be having if you are attempting your uh, for this gen c examination i am expecting that all of you have uh, like once study this as a complete subject in your graduation right i also know that we all have databases in our graduation so covering everything and you know you cannot study everything okay for just for this mcq because this is just a part of one syllabus right this is not the complete syllabus so studying everything won't take you anywhere so i have create i have taken those points which are important to for you to attempt your mcqs okay mcqs and the questions that will come in your uh, this gen c examination so don't think that okay these are very basic things we already know it so it won't be helpful this is kind of a quick cheat sheet or revision for you so going forward it will be helpful when you saw when we solve the mcqs and questions based on this okay not just mcqs because uh, in this part we will not only get mcqs but we will also get the questions in which we have to write queries also so make sure that you focus very attentively and study this part okay let's see next part is sql categories see sql is divided into several subcategories uh, and the first category that we are going to study is ddl so ddl first of all you should know the full form of ddl ddl stands for data definition language okay data definition language because you know this can this can come as a like question only but that is what is the full form of ddl and you will be given four options so the correct answer for this one will be data definition language 
and this is used to define and modify database structures basically okay and let's see what are the different commands that we have in this first command is our create command so what is the purpose of that command it creates databases tables indexes and views okay and i have taken one sql query where we are using this create command see create is one of the most basic commands okay to create the database or tables anything if you have to create anything so this is the command that we are using okay so see uh, this is the example query create table employees so here we are creating a table and then what are the things that we are passing is uh, which should have an id and the type of id should be integer and it is a primary key of the table okay name should be of type where care and department should be of where care okay so this is like how we can use this create query so this is very basic stuff so i'm not digging deep into this i just want that you should it should give you a kind quick refresher of these all commands and all uh, which commands comes under which category okay so the second command uh, second thing that we have is alter okay so see uh, alter is used for modifying existing table structure so if you have an existing table and if you want to modify something in that you will use alter okay alter keyword so alter table employees and then add column salary integer so whatever you want to alter based on that you have to write your query okay next is your drop okay so drop uh, basically what does it does it deletes databases tables or indexes so drop table employees so this is one of the most dangerous commands guys if you have seen okay uh, because in production database you know we sometimes see people just unknowingly run this command and it uh, deletes the entire database uh, only right but yeah drop command is basically used to delete anything okay that is your either your database or your any table or any indexes so it is used for that next is your truncate okay truncate is basically used for delete all the records from a table without removing the table structure so we have truncate table employees okay so if you want to delete all the rec uh, records from a table without removing the table structure so your data will be removed but the table structure will remain as it is okay for example if i have this table which has like serial number one two and then some name okay uh, like ram and all uh, Ram Sham. Okay, so what will happen if I run this command? This data will get uh, refreshed, or this data will get removed, but the table structure is, will remain as it is. Okay, that is the equal amount of cells and uh, rows and columns. Okay, hope you understood it. Okay, now let us move on to the next one, which is DML. Okay, first of all, what is DML stands for? DML stands for Data Manipulation Language. Okay, you have to remember it because you know in exams. Uh, if the question will come on short uh, short form and full forms now then the options are quite tricky sometimes okay so you should not feel like okay i will get the options and i will select the correct out of it you should know it by yourself okay but it should be by hearted by you uh, you should not be dependent on options for at least for shortcuts i would say let's see uh, so it is basically uh, used for manipulating the data within the ta tables okay so dml name itself suggests manipulation so any data this needs to be manipulated will be coming under this okay see first we have insert so it basically adds a new row let's see one example insert into employees and what uh, what are the things that is id name and department and what are the values that we want to insert that we will give okay next is update modifying the existing record so if there are any existing record and we want to modify them so in that case we are going to use update so update employees and set salary equals to 50000 where id is equals to 1 okay so update is basically whatever your existing record is there we want to update it so it is uh, we are going to use update in that case next one is your delete so it removes the specific records in this case so delete from an employees where id is equals to 1 so you just need to mention your id and from that it will delete that particular row okay okay so now let's move on quickly to the next one which is your dcl dcl stands for data control language okay data control language let's see which all uh, keywords that we have here so the commands that we have here are grant it gives permissions to the users so if you want to give any permission which uh, command you are going to use it you are going to use grant okay let's see grant select insert on employees to and then the like user okay next is your revoke command it removes the permissions from the user and here we have taken one example of the revoke command okay hope you have got it quickly moving on to the next one tcl okay next up we have tcl so tcl is what transaction control language okay transaction control language so far we have seen three this is the uh, fourth one okay what is it used for used to manage database transactions so anything related to transactions will be taken care by this one first command that we have is commit 
save changes permanently in order to save any changes permanently we use commit okay simply commit next is rollback revert changes since the last commit if you want to change anything from our last commit so it will be like rollback it is like control z of uh, database okay next is your save point that's a point with within a transaction to which you can roll back so save point is my save point you can save save a point in this way so later on you can roll back to that particular save point okay so we have already seen that second part and now we are moving on to the third which is sql country constraints and their types okay constraints enforces rules on data in data uh, tables first is your primary key okay what is the purpose of primary key it ensures uniqueness in a column okay so how you will write a primary key it's like basically i've taken the syntax here create table students and inside that id we are setting it as primary key okay and then there is also one more table see uh, you know you will have different columns right so uh, for example usually like i would say 95 or 99 percent of the case your you keep your id as your primary key okay because uh, what is the primary key basically it helps you uniquely identify any data in your table okay so which means that id cannot duplicate then if you already have one as your id once then it cannot repeat again okay you cannot have an id with the one again okay moving on foreign key foreign key maintains the referential integrity between tables and here is an example create table orders order id and then uh, here we are using primary key and then here we are mentioning foreign key okay references customer id moving on next unique unique ensures unique values in a column so in a column we have multiple values so how you will use unique create table users and then username and then you will mention unique okay here next up you have not null so not null prevents storing null values okay so if you have any null values uh, it will get stored so if you won't want that you can use not null okay let's see the next command that we have it is check so what is what does it does uh, restricts value within a condition so if you want to put any check then it is like uh, you can use this one so create table employees and then salary check salary is greater than 30,000 so it is like basically a condition next is your default assign a default value to a column so create table products name is this and price decimal default you are giving it as 0, 0.00 okay let's move on now to the next topic which is SQL operators okay so in SQL we have different operators let's see which are them First one is your arithmetic operator. In arithmetic operator, we have like normal uh, operators like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, percentage. So I have taken one example. In this one, you can see how to perform uh, like uh, addition operation. Select salary plus 5000 from employees. Okay. So uh, this will basically add up. Okay. So we here we are doing the addition uh, operator operation. Next is your comparison operation and under comparison operations, you will get equals to not equals to this is not equals to by the way. Okay. This is greater than less than greater than equals to and less than equals to. Okay. And again, you can see one example, select star from employees where salary is greater than 40,000. Basically star means everything. So select everything from the employees table where the salary is greater than 40,000. Moving on to the next operator, which is logical operator. So in a logical operators, we have three types like and or and not. So what is one example query? Let's see that select star from employees where salary is greater than 30,000 and department is equals to IT. So if you have to give more than one condition, then we use and okay. And uh, and means what both of them should satisfy then only our query should result. Okay. If one of them will be not uh, one of them does not satisfy, then don't show that record. Okay. And if you want that either one of the like one of the conditions to satisfy then in that case we use or i i hope like everyone is aware about the basic uh, usage of logical operators so i'm not like discussing more about it let's quickly move on to the next one which is like operator in our case okay so it is used for pattern matching so let's see one example here select a star from employees where name like j and then mod okay so it is used for pattern matching so if anything which is starting with j so it's like uh, we will use this one next is your in operator in operator used to filter based on a list so let's see the example select star from employees where department in hr it so basically this is the uh, this is used for filter okay okay let's now quickly move on to our new uh, next topic which is sql functions so in sql we have different functions first one is our aggregate functions so it is used for calculations on multiple rows okay let's see uh, we have different types of uh, functions like count function it is what it is used for it is used for count purpose okay so uh, one example you can see here is select count 
from employees okay next function that we have is sum function select sum salary from employees it will basically do the summation next is your average avg function select average of salary from employees so basically it will does the average part okay it will take care of the average part next is your maximum uh, for that we have the function max select max of salary from employees next up we have min which is select min of salary from employees basically pretty basic uh, functions i would say uh, that is count sum average and max and min okay these are very basic ones but it is good to know okay uh, because as i told you while solving questions you might need them okay let's move on now to the next part which is sql clauses so in sql we have different clauses first one being where so what is the purpose of it we have already used it multiple times right so it is basically used for filtering the records let's see one example select star from employees where salary is greater than 50000 so basically any filtration if we have to do we have to put a condition so for that we use where clause next is your order by clause it is used for sorting your result okay which means you can order your results in this case so let's see select star from employees order by salary and desc which means descending order next up we have your uh, group by group rows with column values so select department count from employees group by department so if you want to do a particular grouping then you have to use this clause next up here is your having clause which is like filter after grouping let's see this example select department count from employees group by department having count greater than five okay so which means uh, in this case we are filtering after the grouping is done okay hope you have got it moving on to the next topic which is sql joins and their types okay so in sql joins uh, it is used basically to retrieve data from multiple tables and we have different types of joins like inner join uh, left join right join and full join so what is the purpose of inner join i have taken just one example and then for others i've just taken the meaning of them so the inner join basically it returns the matching records let's see the example select employees dot name departments dot department name from employees inner join departments on employees dot department id is equals to departments dot id basically it returns the matching record basically okay left join is what left join is uh, it returns all the records from the left table and matching records from the right table right join it returns all the records from the right table and matching records from the left table the other way around of left join basically next up is your full join it returns all the records whenever there is a match in either of the table okay hope you have got it moving on to the next one which is your sub uh, sub queries let's see in sub queries what does it mean a query within a query is called a sub query okay let's see the example select name from employees where salary is greater than again inside this we have another query that is select average salary from employees so this is a case of sub queries okay moving on views and indexes so see first of all what is a view a virtual table based on sql query is called a view okay so let's see the example create view high salary as select name salary from employees where salary is greater than 50000 so if you want to create a virtual table based on your sql query then uh, that is your views uh, next is your indexes it is used to speed up your query let's see the example create index index uh, name on employees name okay hope you have understood it and guys like there is one note now uh, you know whatever we have discussed in this video what i have done is i have summarized it in kind of a note okay uh, note format so if you want to see all this which we have studied so far in kind of a summary of that uh, please check the links in the description i will link uh, leave the link of it you can go there and read it out uh, for that so that it will be very good for your quick revision kind of stuff okay so guys that's all for this video actually i have tried to cover uh, almost everything uh, which is a part of this syllabus for mysql and i know like there is a lot to discuss but you know it is no there is no point of reading too much or studying too much because our focus should be on solving questions that is our main goal right so that's all for this video if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section please share your review in the comment section that are you even finding this video is helpful or not you can join me on telegram and instagram you can ask your queries even there too make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet because that gives me motivation to bring more such content for all of you thanks for watching the video